Hey Rhinos, David Dodge on today. I'm going to be your host and today I am joined by one of my students. Um, his name is Jack and Jack just got his first deal and Jack's going to tell us all about this deal today on the podcast. But before we get started, I want to just re-emphasize really quickly at how simple this business is. You don't need to overthink it. A lot of people, they get analysis paralysis and they are just overthinking everything. But if we just decide to do a couple simple things in our business and have a lot of consistency with them, then we can have success. And Jack's a Rhino Roadmap student. He's been working with me for just a couple weeks at this point, and he just got a deal. So he's going to tell us all about that deal. And uh, let's jump on in. Let's do it. I am your host, David Dodge. And today I am joined with a student of mine, Jack. He's actually here locally in St. Louis with me. So this is just awesome that I get to meet Jack and I get to work with Jack and we, you know, he did a deal just recently and I'm like, Hey, let's, let's record a podcast. Let's tell everybody, you know, what the process looks like, because there's a lot of people listening. I'd imagine Jack that the majority of the people listening here are new, right? Yeah. And they're trying to get that first deal. So tell the audience a little bit about yourself first and foremost, and then we'll, we'll jump on in. Sure. Yeah. So, uh, been previous to previous to getting into wholesaling was self-employed for about 10 years. How old are so. you? I'm 33. Just, awesome. Just turned 33. Yeah. Perfect. You know, was was self employed. It was a you know, recruit a recruiter, a uh, variety of different industries, okay. and um, just wasn't thirty three. Is that you said? Mm -hmm. oh, nice. Yeah, nice. and um, yeah, just just wasn't really in love with what I was doing, right? right. And it kind of got to the point where you're self employed, and not enjoying what you're doing. It's kind of a bad a bad combo, right? Um, and so, really, kind of it all started like really kind of around COVID of just kind of going down this YouTube rabbit hole. And mm. I had always had a real big interest in real estate, getting into real estate. It was always, once I have some money, enough money, I'm gonna start investing and doing some things. And, um, you know, I think that sort of going down those those rabbit holes, which one of the ways in which I found you. Yeah, man. Um, I've been down a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a lot of them. Uh, I'm it, trying to prevent myself into getting in them still today. Yeah. Because it happens a lot. Right. It's a big thing. You yeah. Know? So, so yeah, so just kind of, just kind of did that and, um, and found wholesaling. I was like, Hey, this actually sounds like something that's right in my wheelhouse. Like mm -hmm. right, you know, the skill sets I already have and got really interested in it. Uh, got really excited about it. And, um, you know, finally this past spring was able to officially pull the trigger on it. Awesome. And, um, you know, and, and so one of the big things when I was starting out or making this transition was I kind of had a couple of rules. One. I knew I was like, I gotta be really excited about this, mm -hmm. right? Which, you know, I knew I was. And the second thing was I need to get a coach, right? I need, I need to find somebody that is gonna help me. Like, I don't wanna- Just gonna shorten that time it, frame from you exactly. know, a year to a couple months or yeah. even weeks in some cases, right? right. You, yeah, so that was a huge, so those are, those are kind of like the two main things that I was, you know, focused on, right? Um, kind of the two rules I, uh, my wife and I made, you know, as far it, as man. like, we, you know, we need, yeah. if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it the right way, sure. right? Um, and so, yeah, so, so that just kind of April 18th, it was uh, Monday, April 18th was like the first official day or first full day of me going out driving, you know, driving for dollars is my, sure. you know, is my, um, uh, uh, marketing. It's working. Uh, it's working. I got a guy, listen, this is great. I'm going to interrupt you, but I'm yeah. going to just real quick. Yeah, I got yeah. a guy out right now driving for dollars. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah. I love it. Yep. And maybe later tonight I'm going to go do some D for D myself. Right. And it works. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Didn't mean no, 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 it's all right. Yeah. Uh, first day driving and then, um, you know, obviously still, still early in the process here, you know, mm -hmm. right. But, um, you know, I've, have done it, you know, I've done a deal and, you know, I have a couple more, um, slow down, slow down. All right. All right. All right. All right. So April 18th, you started driving. Did you, how, did you do this on your own before you, you know, hit me up and was like, Hey, I need some help. No, it was, I, uh, we had, I had reached out to you maybe in maybe late February, probably early March. It's probably when it okay. was of just like, Hey, like. This is happening. I'm going to be making this transition. Got it. Um, we've only been working together for like it was like end of April, two officially. months, man. Yeah, maybe, maybe two maybe and a half max. Of, I think like beginning of May was one. Because usually, you know, I tell people, hey, I'm pretty confident I'm going to get you a deal in you know four to six months, right? Hopefully sooner. And you were one of the guys that was like, I'm counting in the weeks, basically. Mm -hmm. You did that. You did it in like nine or ten weeks, basically, yeah, right? Yeah, I think I, I closed. 
Um, or less even. It might have even I been closed, I closed in about eight weeks. Eight. I closed eight in about weeks, eight weeks, man. Yeah, Two my... months, eight weeks. Yep. Okay. Sorry. Didn't mean to no, right. derail you. Just want to make sure that the audience is following where we're going with this, right? So you started, you reached out to me in the beginning, or, or did yeah, you do it on your own I, it for was, a couple of days or weeks, or no? No, it was, like, it was I'm ready to go. It was, I had, had reached out to you prior to basically pulling the trigger. Love it. And I wanted it all, like, I wanted to have the game plan all laid out like i love it i'm gonna start and this is you know i wish here's my coach that I could and have, here's my yeah. you know here's here's my strategy here's my coach and when i'm right you know, i wish i did the that trigger because i'd spun my tires yeah. for three and a half months before i hired a coach and i did i did a deal with with him in like six five five or six weeks maybe less i think it might have been within three or four okay. but i had struggled for three and a half months on my own right right yeah so dude all right this is amazing so you come in we start working together and I love it because what Jack did, he doesn't even, maybe he knows it, maybe he doesn't, but he prevented himself so much analysis paralysis because he wasn't dabbling with this or that or just learning. He was like, what is the quickest way to get a deal? And I laid it out and I'm like, here's what you're going to do, man. Let's get, let's pick one or two or three marketing methods and don't do anything else. Quit watching YouTube videos, quit getting lost and all this nonsense. Yep. Just start doing these two or three or four things. And you are the man because you were consistent. And every week when we would talk, multiple times a week, we would talk, mm -hmm. yep. Jack, what's up? Report your numbers. And you would give me some statistic or some number, and I would be like, man, I wish everybody was like Jack. And they got out there and they hustled. So you definitely had that hustle. And so then, again, pick up from where I'm at from here. So you started driving for dollars. Driving for dollars, sending postcards. That's that's it. It's that you it's know, that simple. That, wow. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Um, you know, and you and, don't have to overcomplicate this business. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, got you know, went on a couple of appointments. Was if you know the first couple, you know, first appointment, really excited to go on. Of course. And of course. Oh, you know what? We're going to reschedule. I was like, oh, you know, and and, and that happens. Because and, and you're spending going, time, you're spending money, and you're excited. Yeah. Well, in the in the first one too, especially right. Yeah. Like it's just like so excited to get out there. Yeah. Let's reschedule, and then you know, and a couple of other, you know, I'm interested. Yeah. But you know, let's put something for a couple weeks out. I'm like, no, let's go. Let's, like, like I'll, I'll be there tomorrow. Like, I'll be there this afternoon. Like, yep. let's, you yeah, know, let's, yeah. let's meet. I'll you know? come. Are you there I'm, now? Like, I'm in. I'll route. be there in twenty. Right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, so just, and I'm still that way, right? Like, sure. it's just you know, uh, wanting. Well, that's to, what's going to make you. Things, a, you are already a good quickly. wholesaler, man. You you got one done in two months. It's amazing, and you got two or three more in the pipeline right now. It's yep. amazing. But the fact that you are in it to win it, you're ready to go. Excuse me. You are essentially saying, "Are you there now? I'll come. I'll come today. I'll come tonight." Yeah, and that's what's going to win right. deals, and that's yep. what you are doing, which is awesome. So, driving for dollars. How many are you doing in a day or a week, a month? Like, just give me some. So numbers. I break it a, a thousand a month is what I'm adding driving for dollars. But you're yeah. consistent because yeah. I see and talk to you multiple times a week, and it's not like oh, I'm just going to go do a thousand and. 15 hours over the weekend yeah I, yeah it no yeah, you're yeah. doing like 200 yeah. here and 100 there and 50 yeah, there and 80 there and 200 there because there's, there's there's some days in some neighborhoods i'm driving through that i you know i could add i could add 100 and you know an hour an hour yeah hour hour and a half right, right? and it's and it's like oh i could do that others you might yeah, drive others, for an hour and get six yeah it right just depends and, and you know and it, there's a, obviously a mixture like you don't want to be in two nights you know obviously two nights two in the nice neighborhood two where more. there's just you know you're looking now you're starting to nitpick yep. right on something yep. that's you know that's slightly off about a house or you know on the other side i mean you want to be in a neighborhood that you know houses need work and uh and where there's investor activity right mm -hmm. so i love i love driving down like neighborhood or driving down streets in neighborhoods where you know maybe there's one or two um on a block that need work but then i see tons of you know trucks out front of you know work being done love you know on, on other neighboring mm -hmm. homes i'm like so there's a lot of it like you know there's a lot of investment going into a neighborhood um, and those are the ones where you might find a lot, you know, a lot of homes, sure. right. You know, in a, in a short amount of time. So, you know, I try to pace myself, obviously I don't want to get to, you know, the last week of the, of the month and of be course. like, I got to get a thousand, you know, yeah, this or week, good at all no done fun. in the first week. And then you don't might run out of credits or whatnot. Yeah, you know? yeah so exactly. So go slow, and... you know, and there, yeah. So I don't, I don't drive every single day. Um, some days I'll, you know, the most I've ever had, I think was like 180 in a day, Yeah, it's a lot. Um, which a lot. is, which is a lot, it's a, a lot of driving. It's like yeah. two, three hours probably yeah, um, or more, but yeah. you know, but then I, then I'm not driving every single day. Sure. Right. Love you know? it, man. Um, but, but what's, what are you looking for when you're driving for dollars? Uh, I mean, just, just your, any sort of, any sort of distress, Anything. right. You know, and it could be, you know, uh, uh, there's a tarp on a roof could be, you know, the gutters hanging down, could be there's stuff growing in a gutter. 
right? Um, the uh, we can get into it more, but the one that I found from the outside it looked like a pretty decent house. It was a brick, you know, single story home, but there was just this, you know, the bushes were just so overgrown, mm -hmm. right out in front. Like clearly, just hadn't been taken care of. It wasn't mm -hmm. you, the home wasn't being loved, right? Mm -hmm. um, but um, you know, so so it was just any anything that just kind of looks like someone isn't taking care of the home. What'd you do Wait. next? You find these properties as you're driving. Yeah, uh, Deal Machine is the app I use. Love it. Um, just add them. What I'll do is I actually add them. The guy that's out driving now is on yeah. using Deal Machine. Yeah, um, yeah. add them and then I'll go back and look at the list. Um, you know that you know after I'm after I'm done driving, get back and, and look on my computer, and I'll basically any any home that was purchased like in the last six months. Mm -hmm. You know I delete because like maybe that's like a limiting belief. Um, but if they just bought it six months ago, chances of them wanting to get rid of it right now, I don't know if that's the best use of you know, ad spend or, 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 you know, sending up, sending up a postcard. So Absolutely. anyone that, you know, bought it in the last six months, certainly I'm just going to delete off of that list. And then everyone else just gets a postcard. Um, Hold I, got, on. I want you to talk okay. about that more because that is so powerful. All right. Marketing costs time and money. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all it is. It's time and money. It's, it's really, and not, or right. Time and money. And when you are going out and driving for dollars, or even if you are pulling a list off of Batch or PropStream or whatever service you're using, yep. you want to make sure that this property wasn't purchased six months ago, guys. That is going to be a pretty unmotivating factor. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. So the fact you're that not you're not tired of it yet. Yeah. No. Sure. The yeah. fact that you're scrubbing those out is awesome. It's it's making your market marketing not only more efficient. But more effective. Yeah. Amazing. All right. Didn't mean to interrupt, yeah, no, but that's yeah, yeah. very, very good thing that you're doing. And I love it. Keep yeah. doing that. And if you're pulling the list, filter off the on markets and make sure your equity is at a minimum of 30 to 40 percent. Right. As well. Oh, and that's and that's the other one. Any any like right now, especially I'm not adding like if I know that if I there's like a uh, corporate owned and it's some, you know, big, you know, um, Corp maybe they have a, maybe they've got a hundred units or something like that. Mm -hmm. I'd sell some one that I'm not going to send to you know right now. Just if, if they want to get rid of one, I'm sure they you know yeah. have a. You're have smart a, though. You're yeah, looking yeah. at the owners. You're looking at when they were bought last, and you're filtering things in and out of it. So mm -hmm. you're not going to waste your time and your money reaching out to these individuals that just bought it or they own forty properties and they're buying three more at a time and they're not selling anything. They're right. buying and you know right. the difference. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and yeah, and that's you know it's one thing to send one or two, but when you're sending you know fifty you know or a hundred a month a month you know that, yeah. that adds up especially because i have it set up where you know for six months they'll get one every they single get, month they keep getting you know? them so that yeah. so that adds up for sure 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 um, and that's why i just exclude those but i love that you aren't going after every one of those leads you're instead saying i want to make sure that i can hit these four or five or six times because the way that it works is so crazy but people have to see your name and your number and your business sometimes four or five or six times before they will actually mm -hmm. pick up that phone now will you get did you get calls on your very first mailer probably i'd assume so yeah i you know because my first one i think i had sent out um i'd of course i sent the first one to myself right just yeah, to like see. just to like just make sure does I this did even it right. work is, yeah is this just, gonna just, arrive just whatever just Absolutely. to double check just to mm -hmm. proofread it or whatever one last time and then i think by then i already had like five or 600 homes already tagged by the time I got right. it in the mail. Right. So then I, so then I pretty much sent out a huge, basically a huge batch. Um, and I think I did, yeah, I think I got a couple calls right off, you know, in it. And that's the thing you're going to get, app, you know, right? anywhere from at a minimum, typically 1%, right? Sometimes a little less, but I've seen mailers go four, five, six percent. I mean, it, mm -hmm. it can happen, right? Yeah. It just depends. It's and all, it about, all averages out. It's I think, all timing. Yeah. yeah average yeah. is probably, you know, two, 3%, mm -hmm. you know, maybe a little higher, but not yeah. very high, but that's the reason that you have to send them multiple times. And you got to send them in general. Here's the thing that I can tell you from being in this business for basically eight years full time at this point. It's crazy to think that because it feels like like a couple. It's just time flies. It's nuts. People will save these postcards. Mm -hmm. They'll put them in their junk drawers or put them on their refrigerator jack. And they will call you five or six or seven years later. I know. It's wild. How do I know? Because I get calls <laughs> right. sometimes. Yeah. So here's how I know. I, I don't use my cell phone number on my marketing anymore because you know I want to separate business and personal recommend everybody do that as well but in the beginning the first 10 months I didn't care I didn't know that I needed to separate it I didn't I just said you know what this is in my pocket all day there's no better way there's no better you know way to answer marketing than answer live mm -hmm. there's no better oh, way yeah. so I'm just like hey send it to my phone and now we forward it to phones or to people or whatever right but back then we did that so I still get calls from postcards 
to my cell phone. It doesn't bother me. I'm like, this is amazing. Right, yeah, yeah. You saved this postcard for six years? Right. But I'll, And I'll ask them, are you calling me from a postcard that was like blue and white, you know? And they'll be like, every time. It's wild. Yeah. So the point I'm trying to make is people save these postcards. So just because you might not get a high response rate the day they hit mailboxes, as you hit them more and more, you're going to get more. And people actually will save these things. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. So yep. you sent some postcards after driving for dollars. You're doing a ton of driving for dollars. You're, you're sending mail. You're slowing down on the mail. So instead of sending every lead, you're scraping out leads that you don't think yeah. are going to be. And then are percentage. you calling or texting or not? No, nothing. Nothing. All, all just all inbound mail. leads. Mm -hmm. And this is that is a great way to approach it if you don't have a ton of time. You can pay for marketing. You don't have to spend the time calling and texting. It's time and money and or right mm -hmm. so essentially you can determine it but i love it yeah you know so you're bringing these in and then holy cow tell me about this deal after eight weeks yeah which is like awesome the most amazing time frame so it was, so it was sort of funny so i actually had gone on another appointment or had another appointment scheduled okay. prior um and you know I, 10 minutes before i you know i get a i get a call hey i'm running you know from the from the seller mm -hmm. hey i'm running late you know, 10 minutes after the appointment, 20 minutes. Now it's 30 minutes after the appointment. The guy told me he was on his way. So now I'm, I'm calling just figuring what, what the heck is going on. And he's like, oh, I, you know, I can't make it anymore. I'm just like, so I'm, and I know, you know, it's like stuff happens. Yeah. Right? And I knew, I mentally. It's hard to not to... get mad, but you got to be friendly because that's the yeah. whole goal. It's like, okay, when can you meet? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so, so I'm, so I'm leaving this appointment kind of feeling deflated, mm -hmm. just, just kind of like, okay, this wasn't it. I thought it could have been, you know, but I, you know, but this wasn't spent it. Spent the time driving, spent the money mailing. And just Man, the excitement I of, I, I want my first deal. Right. You know? Right. And, uh, and so I'm leaving and I, you know, my, my, uh, phone starts ringing and I know it's the number they're calling the marketing number. I'm like, okay, snap out of it. Like just this, this could be another seller. Like yes. just time, time, like, yes. you know, you can't Love answer it. the phone with low energy yep. and just, you know, you know, feeling sad for yourself. So, um, so I get it, you know, I pick up the phone and you know, uh, this, uh, the gentleman gets, he was like, Hey, I got your postcard here. Mm -hmm. Um, you, you know, you sent this to me. I'm, I'm interested in selling. Would like to learn more, you know. So I, I pull over, full, you know, full. Yeah, full give you attention, my full attention. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's your say? Your name was again, yeah, sir. Right, exactly. All right, yeah. Get, get my, uh, get my, you know, notepad and pen out. Yes. Um, you know, just kind of asking some general questions, like, well, you know, what? Tell me a little bit about the house, and you know, start asking some questions about the condition, and you know, like, oh, okay, you know, like, you know, why are you looking to sell? And um, kind of long story short, this, you know, he had, you know, inherited another house um, further out. Um, and you know, had lived in this house for a long time. So was, this was a this was a house he lived in. Yeah, he not lived at the time still or no? He he had moved out already a couple okay. months prior. But he had been there for years. He had been there, yeah, for, for like forty some odd years or something. Oh, like that. that many years. Yeah. So wow. he, yeah, and okay. um, and I'm like, so so you know, what do you you know, what are you hoping if everything goes perfectly? Like what you know, what are you hoping happens here? And um, he's just like, you know, I just want this to be as easy as possible. I don't want to, have to do any work mm. and you know and, then, and you know and he named a price of what he was looking for and mm -hmm. at the time i had no idea it didn't mean anything to me other than you hadn't seen it i hadn't run seen comps, it. i just... didn't know what the comps were so i was like okay great okay. like let's at least a, a starting point sure. right um clearly motivate i mean about as textbook as it gets as far as you know a wholesale deal goes mm -hmm. right there's someone that wants to do absolutely no work someone that you know just wants this to be as easy as possible um, Would you, know, you say that he knew that he was giving you a good deal? Um, yeah, yeah, I think I think what I would. He, what he, what he thought was this is a fair deal, but if I don't have to do any work, that's where I'm going next. So he knew he was giving you a deal, yeah. but he was asking for convenience mm -hmm. in exchange, was yeah. he not? It, yep. Yeah, and exactly the convenience it. that he was asking for was probably cash quick and as is, was it not? Yeah, exactly. Holy yeah. cow, guys. This is all we do at the end yep. of the day is we find people with problems. We help solve their problems by buying the properties. And how do we do that? We find people that have the problems that need the convenience, right? And in exchange, we ask for discounts. And yeah. that's what that's what happened here. That's yeah, so speeding, amazing. Speeding convenience, what right? a great I mean, that's deal. What, that's, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, so literally the next day, um, you, I, you know, he met me out at the property. I know. Um, it, you know, look, looking at it and trying to figure out, you know, all the different stuff. I think the, the furnace, I think I've never, se never seen a furnace that looked like that. It was like about the size of a bus painted like yeah, green. Yeah, big just, old 40 year old yeah, furnace. It, yeah, it was, yeah, I mean, yeah. It, yeah, it was really old. Um, and, um, you know, it was, and it wasn't, in, it wasn't in bad shape, but it hadn't been updated in, in 40 years. Right. right. So it was, you know, it was, but everything needed to be, everything, you know, needed work on mm -hmm. it. 
Um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of running my numbers and kind of. This is when you went to meet him. Yeah, when, I, when I went Got to go it. meet him, I'm running the numbers. Of is he repairs. following you around? Uh, yeah, we kind of walked kinda. the property. Yeah, that's good though. You want to make a friend? Yeah, we yeah, we, we walked it together. Right, exactly. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. and it, and it's not a huge house, right? It was a you know a thousand square foot sure. you know, two bedroom house. So it's mm-hmm. not a um, you know not 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 too many places to uh, to hide. Uh, and uh, yeah, so you know I'm kind of running my numbers and and kind of doing what I think the. I, by then I knew, you know, roughly what ARV what you know was, mm-hmm. and um, you know I'm kind of doing the math in my head, and the number he shot me yesterday or, on, the know, on, the, on the phone, on the yeah, me, sure, on sure. The, the day before, I'm like, this is the exact number that, that I, I need would to come be. up, yeah, to, yeah, to, yeah, to the host. I'm like, listen, like textbook. So here's the thing: it's, you don't all, you don't always have to try to negotiate somebody way down mm-hmm. if they're motivated, which is what you've mm-hmm. found, yeah, and you're gonna find hundreds of more. I'm confident, Jack. This is not that hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You guys just have the uh, you got to you got to be consistent. And yeah. that's that's the one thing that's mm-hmm. going to set the guys in the business that do deals and do them quickly even at that yeah. versus those that don't is the consistency. It is right. the one single thing that is the differentiator. Literally. Yeah. But you made a friend with the guy, you're walking around, the number that you needed to be at was the number he was asking. He knew that he was going to give you a good deal on it, but he also knew that it needed all this crazy work, yep. and the convenience that you offered was what he wanted to solve his problem. Right. He showed up. Isn't that showed crazy up how it comes full circle? This yeah. isn't that hard. It's amazing. It's you're, a, doing, you're doing great, though. I'm not trying yeah. to undermine yeah, 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 yeah. your efforts. I'm just saying now that you've got it behind you, you can do 100 more. Can right. you not? Mm-hmm. No problem. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So you gave him a number that he asked, and then what? You're like, hey, this this works. Yeah, I was like, I, you know, I, we're we're at the same number. This is what I'm gonna, you know, I can I can offer you that. Um, you know, like let's like you know, I had a contract. I'm like, let's let's sign. He goes, okay, well, I've got one other person, you know, that I'm I'm waiting to hear on. Um, that you know that toured it or, or looked at the place yesterday. I'll I would have you... done this. I would have got my phone and been like, "Well, call him, see yeah, if he wants right, to buy because right. I wanted to buy it I, right now." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and, yeah, right. It, 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 yeah. You know, in retrospect, there's a lot of stuff you could, you know, I would, you know, maybe do differently yeah. or, or. So how did it play out though? So, so um, he, so I'm like, okay, like I, I'm ready to do this now, but like I understand, like you know, I, yep. I get, you know, I want to respect, you know, respect that. He called me an hour later. He was like, okay, yeah, let's do it. Amazing. Um, and did you give him a contract or no? I I did not. Give okay. him, I did not leave him. Pro with tip: contract. leave him one next okay. time. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Right. So yeah, just, just even even when it all goes perfectly, right? There's Anything. still things. Yeah, yeah. There's still ways to improve. Oh, absolutely. Right? Yeah. No, no, no. You did yeah, great, yeah, yeah. bro. You no, made no, no. ten thousand dollars by right. the way. We're gonna get to that. We're gonna yeah, get to that. Right. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So I got the I got the contract signed. Um. Got it over to got it over to titled and um. Posted uh posted just in the local Facebook group. Um, Amazing and um, Amazing. Within um, probably about two hours of that post going live, had uh, someone say, "Yeah, I'm interested. Let's let's meet. Let's meet." So we went over did there. Did you put a lockbox on it, or do you have to meet the seller back there? How did that I, all play out? So I actually went out. And so, I'm at, I know, but I want the yeah, audience to right. Know. Yeah, so yeah. I had I had was like, he, you know, he called me. It was a Friday. He mm-hmm. called me and said, "Great, let's like I you know I that's great." I um, let's do it. Um, this is the seller. This is the seller. Okay, yes, perfect. To, to say, did like, you email them on the offer, or did you drive back over there? So I was like, I'm asking because they're asking. I so I said, what's your email? And he said, I don't have an email. Okay, that's uh, he said that. Yeah. So oh, wow. He, and I was like, old oh, guy. Okay. Yeah. I was like, okay. Um, not that old to not have an email, but anyway. Yeah, he was. He had to have been fifty to sixty, right? He's, been yes, there for four years, yeah. roughly. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, so I uh I drove out to. St. Charles with a contract Friday afternoon. I was like, I, let's do it. Consistency, guys. So he didn't I, give up. He yeah, said, I'm going to so, do what it so takes to I get met, met over him at his new line. house. Um, he signed it, you know, took it to, you know, took it to title. Um, and, uh, and then you made the post. And then I made the post. And I, by uh, Monday, uh, by Monday afternoon, had uh, an assigned uh, assignment. Um, signed. Contract signed. Yeah. Love it. Yep. A to B, B to C. What were the prices? Uh, 40 uh is what i got under contract for okay. 50 is what i signed it for love it and, and you uh, made the 10 right even yeah, clean t- yeah because when you don't have to go to closing and pay the double close or any mm. of these fees you get a that's the great thing about assignments is you get the rounded number ten thousand right. dollars and zero cents like bam right yeah <laughs> those are the best right. checks man yeah, i know yeah. i'm telling you 9600 is still pretty cool but ten thousand is just it's way better yeah it's awesome yeah. So yeah. Anyway. So and then closing went went and, relatively. And clo- yeah. I mean, we smooth. literally just went in. Um, I, I got the first appointment they had available, and even even uh, the end buyer, um, uh, 
was like, can we move it up? Like, I'd love to, and I'm like, I would love to move it up. It was just, we just were, it was the first appointment available. I'm calling them. Hey, if there's a cancellation, we'll come in sooner. Yeah. If that's all right. My buyer's yeah. ready to go. Yeah, I want to like, get paid, yeah, baby. Exactly. Let's go. And they're I like, and they basically just response was like, we'll let you know. We'll let you yeah, know. Yeah yeah, 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 that's okay. Yeah, yeah. If you don't ask, the answer is no I, anyway, 100%, man. 100%, yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, like I said, it was about as textbook I felt like as it as it gets right as, yeah. as as far as the deal goes, and which is the greatest thing though, because it doesn't have to be complicated, right? Yeah, you know, I mean, if you don't have the resources to drive, then you can buy your list. I prefer to drive to get my leads because they're good leads, and I can even filter in on these apps like Deal Machine that you and I are both using. I can filter in the vacants, I can filter in the absentees, mm -hmm. I can filter in the tax delinquents, so I can see on the map as I'm driving if there's other things that may you know, list stacking essentially right, yeah. to, to list, you know, to, to show that there's going to be an elevated level of motivation. And, and that's great. Mm -hmm. So you were, did the driving for dollars, but guys, you can pull lists too, right? You don't have to necessarily do that. I prefer the driving for dollars, but we do both. And then you can cold call or cold text these people. If you have the time, it's going to be much cheaper than send a mail. But if you don't have the time, Jack, I know you have three kids and you're busy as hell, man. So you're like, I'm just going to buy the marketing. I'm going to pay for it. And I'm going to get my phone ringing and your phone's ringing. Yeah. And people are motivated on the other end. Right. Yeah. And there's no, there's no magic trick right. up my sleeve or yours, is there? Right. Yeah. No. But at the end of the day, we did a lot of really cool things, man. A, we got you a first deal. Made you 10K. Yeah. Boom. Love that. Yep. That's awesome. B, we helped a seller sell a property that was looking for convenience, and you did that. Right. That's a win mm -hmm. right there. You won and made 10 grand. That's a win. The buyer who I know is a friend of mine, he's loving the deal because he's going to turn it into a rental property. Right. And he won. Yeah. And guess who else won? The the contractors that are going to get hired by our friend, the title company, because they got a transaction out of it. An insurance agent's going to win because he's going to get a new policy. He or she's going to get a new policy yep. on it. Right? Yep. And then the hardware store is going to win because they're going to sell a bunch of materials. There's so many wins that are created by helping somebody. And that's right. the best part about this business. Of course, we're in this business to make money. In fact, the definition of business is the act of making money, oddly right. enough. Yeah. But we lead with integrity and we try to find problems and we solve those problems. We don't lead with, oh, I'm trying to get this thing for $4 so I can go make a million bucks on it. You know, we're right. trying to solve problems. We're trying to help people and we can get paid, in my opinion, really handsomely, you know, for doing for doing good, good work here. So. Yep. Dude, amazing. And tell me more about these other couple deals that you're working right now. And you've been in the game for, what, 10 weeks now? This is like you got that deal closed, what, a week and a half, two weeks ago? Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, Give or take? Yeah, about. Th yeah. Three, Called two, three, two and a half. Three, yeah, three, three weeks. Three weeks. There yeah, you yeah, go. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So you're, you've, been, you've been in the game less than three months, though. Mm -hmm. Deal done and two or three more ready to yeah, roll. I, yeah. So just same, same, same deal, driving for dollars. Yeah. Um, you know, just and going to just di different neighborhoods, and which is kind of a, a nice thing too. Just getting to know, you get to learn. actually like physically being in the neighborhoods yeah. and, and different parts. And um, you know, if if I, I, probably a lot of places, but St. Louis especially, I mean, neighborhood to neighborhood changes so much. So that's like helpful yeah. just to actually be kind of uh, boots on the ground. After um, you do that a lot, you're going to get calls from people, and you're going to be like, "Man, I remember that street." Yeah, because you were on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. It's awesome. Um, have you pulled any leads yet, or is it all driving for dollars? All, it's all driving for dollars. Yeah, I love that because yeah. again, it doesn't have to be complicated. Yeah, I mean, we get deals from that. We get deals from pulling leads. You get deals from both. Well, and I think what's really interesting is I know you know a lot of people go after you know uh, like absentee or, or you know vacant um, the absentee owner vacant mm -hmm. you know properties, and what's interesting is you know, this, the, the property I, I closed and these other two that are potential or two of two of the three that, that are you're potential working that I'm working on mm -hmm. now are actually vacant, but they weren't listed as vacant. Not yet. So they could, yep. right. So they weren't quite listed as vacant yet. So That's I got there before, you know, cause if, if it had, you know, as soon as it turns vacant, yeah, I'm going to get bombarded. Yeah. Right? I'm going to hit them with a the mail or a call or a text or something. Right. right but right. you could tell like just driving by, you could tell these were vacant. Yep. Or, and it often takes, here's know. the cool thing. Here's a, here's a pro tip. It often takes six months. So you, you, by the way, all the vacant data is provided by the United States post office. That's mm -hmm. who marks it vacant. Um, we can pull that data from various softwares. I actually can get it direct through USPS through a 501 C three that we own. Um, but essentially people are just scraping that data and then they're reselling it. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, the United States post office is the only people that have the data on if a property is vacant or not. And the point I'm trying to make is it can take sometimes six months or more mm -hmm. to get marked as vacant. 
And if you can drive around and drive for dollars, you have a massive advantage over the other people that are just buying lists and they're not getting their own because you have a six to 10 month head start yeah. on those properties. And I can tell you something else, Jack. I would say, and I'm, and I'm not even exaggerating here. That's why I'm going to take my time on this for a second. I would say that 75, that's actually a conservative number. We're going to go with that percent of all the properties that I've ever bought in my life, which is probably close to a thousand at this point, were vacant. Seventy five percent. Yeah. So there's a reason why people are pulling the vacant data right. and the absentee owned data right. because it's the low hanging fruit. Yep. Doesn't mean that that's going to be everyone. I mean, again, one in four is not, but the majority are, and you have a huge leg up on the competition by getting this data essentially with your own eyes versus waiting six eight months for the post office to flag it as that as such. Right. Very, very cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. So you got two more in the pipeline. Yeah. What, what are you thinking about these? Still negotiating, still following up? What's going on? Yeah, with so so I have one one under contract right now that actually just came uh, you know, was was showing it to another uh, another investor um right before right before it came here. Mm-hmm. Um and the other two we've agreed on price, you know. Uh I've sent contracts. I'm just waiting for that uh you know. Yep. It should it should be in my inbox, but it's not yet. So yep. I don't wanna, you know, count mm. my chicken before they hatch. Uh, mm-hmm. But you know that they would. I think the price I got them at, I'm I'm really excited about. I like both those prices. Um, I looked at those. Yeah. yeah, they look good. So so yeah, I mean I think you know same thing. I think they're just they're they're just good, um, you know, good deals. Mm-hmm. You know where there's pretty again there's uh, you look at you look at you know comps in the neighborhood. Some are way up here, and yep. you know some were down here. Well, I know the ones that were are way down here. You can tell who who's bought them. Mm-hmm. They're you know corporations. Yep. Um, Which you know, is so easy to find. You just go online and use what are you using? Batch or prop stream or something? Yeah, you have batch. Yeah, there you go. And you just mm-hmm. go look at the other houses that are yep. the comps, and you just look at the data. Right. You spend time, Jack. That's the thing. A lot of people they they want to try to fast track this business, you know, and they want to be able to do it. You know, they don't want to spend time looking at the data, and it's like the the money's in the data. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's telling right. you who bought it, who sold yep. it, what they paid for it, how much they owe on it. It's mm-hmm. all there. Right. Spend some time looking at it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, so so like I said, I, I like the price that they're at. Um, you know, like fingers crossed that, that I get those contracts back. But I think there there'll be you know more of kind of the the classic. I bet you'll get them both back. Just be yeah. consistent. But there's a fine line. You can't be calling them every three hours. Right. Yeah. 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 Then they're gonna be like, you're yeah. harassing me. Leave me alone. Right. Yeah. But yeah. you know, every day or two, you know, like and the great thing is, is you can follow up in so many different ways. You can call, obviously. You can shoot them a text. You can you can uh, send them an email. Mm-hmm. You can drop by. You can throw in a contract in the mail and get it delivered to their mailbox, and then they're just a business card and a contract. Hey, had, uh, you know, maybe maybe throw a sticky note on the top of it that says, "Hey, I haven't forgot about you." Just want to make sure you didn't lose the agreement. Here's another one. Right. Like, there's so many different ways, and you just got to keep touching these people. And I'm confident that you're going to be doing two, three deals a month here in yeah, no time, man. That's yeah. That's that's kind of that's the next step. That's get there, and then and then you know, kind of hit the next. It's awesome. You know, the next. Uh, you know, the next goal after that, keep moving the goalposts in, in a good way. In a good way. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Loving right. it. But guys, this is a perfect example of somebody that has not overcomplicated the business. Jack said, I don't want this whole analysis process. I don't want to go watch 600 YouTube channels by 18 different people, you know, and get confused. I just want to pick a couple things that I know work that are proven and I'm going to get very, very consistent with them. And I'm going to be very, very persistent with these activities. There are two different things. Consistency and persistence are two different things. And you got both of them, my friend. And that's what brought you a deal in eight weeks. And that's what's going to bring you 10 more in the next couple couple months. Yeah. I'm confident of it. Jack, thank you so much for coming on the show thank, today. Thank you so much for having oh me. Oh, my this God. Was really, thank yeah, you for coming. Really fun. It's fun. Yeah. yeah, that's the whole thing. We're just yeah. going to have fun here. Exactly. So, guys, you can do this too, right? Jack is consistent and persistent. So, be like Jack. Follow in his footsteps. Don't give up. Pick one or two simple marketing methods that are proven, and there's hundreds of them. That's the cool thing. There are hundreds of them. And just get out there and make friends with people, right? Whenever you're out at the property, just make a friend with that person. It's going to be way better than any trip, trick or tip that you may have hidden up your sleeve. People don't want to be sold. They want to work with people that they know, like, and trust, which is just me making a friend with them. And then you simply made a post on Facebook, which is amazing because it's free. We yep. all have this little device in our pocket that accesses it. And you got some people that were interested, and you had it sold within, well, how many hours did it take to have the contract and have it sold? Or uh, days? Hours or days? Probably uh, hours. Hours. Hour, less, less than a day. <laughs> less, less than, than a day. day. Yeah. $10,000 assignment, and everybody won amazing. Mm-hmm. Jack, thanks again for coming on yeah. the show. One last question for you before we wrap up. If you are new and you are listening or watching this right now, all right, what advice would you tell them? Because 
I got a lot of experience. Sometimes I overlook the little things, right? What would be some advice that you would give the new person to prevent the analysis paralysis and to help them get a deal in as little as you did? I I, I get a coach. I mean, I I mean, really, it's gonna help you, you know, a lot. Yeah, I mean, there and there's there's a I think there's a lot of awesome content on YouTube, and and you can definitely but get the basics. So much of it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can you can definitely get the basics, right? right? But there's like I mean, just even last week going through. Uh, one of the one of the deals I have under contract now, mm-hmm. um, or the the deal I have under, under contract now, it was it was uh, you know a couple of weird tweaks and it wasn't overcomplicated, no. but having you being able to to reach out to you you know directly and say this is what I'm working on, I, you know what's I going on, it. I love it, and and you know for you it was something really straightforward and easy. For sure. me, it was something I'd never seen before. Or done it's, before. it's new. How do you know? You don't um, know what you don't know. You know, so that's just an, that's just one example. But yeah, I mean that's something too. And even if you even if you know having that can i come to you and what do you think of this? you're to gonna give be much more confidence yeah. yes if, if i'm saying um, yes or that person that has a ton of experience says i love it man yeah and, and that's and there's yeah and that's that would be that would be 100 my my advice man is i love to, it is to do that figure out a way you know to to get a coach i'm so i'm you know, so i'm so proud of you i'm not trying to be weird but like i am but i'm also just so excited because dude you you are consistent and you're persistent and i'm confident that you're gonna lock both of those deals that you're working up now and you're going to have multiple deals in the next couple of months, and it's just going yep. to be fun to see you grow from a marketer and a wholesaler to a, even an investor here soon, too. So, yeah. Jack, All very, right. very cool. Hey. Thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, thanks again. We'll, we appreciate it. All right. Guys, thanks for listening today. And with that, I want you to know you can do this, too. This isn't hard. Just don't let analysis paralysis kick in. I've literally talked to a couple students in just the last couple of days, some new people that I'm working with, and every one of them has said, guys, I, I, you know, Dave, I'm, I'm facing analysis paralysis. I'm looking for a roadmap. I'm looking for something that's simple and easy that can take me from where I am today to my first deal or to multiple deals. And that's what I love doing. I love helping people and just simplifying this and just saying, here, this is how we're going to do this business. Jack is a perfect example. And uh, I love it, man. This is amazing. Again, thanks for yeah, coming on. Absolutely. Guys, and with that, signing off. All right, guys, you heard it from Jack. He did it, and you can do this too. And I'm here to help. That's the good news. So, guys, head on over to wholesalinginc.com and book a call and learn more about the Rhino Roadmap. We are getting people their first deal, loving it, and having fun doing it. And we can do it for you too. I can't wait to work with you directly. So, head on over, book a call. And with that, You guys have a great day. Signing off.